By now you've seen the new flagship Samsung store here in Mumbai in BKC, a stone's throw away from the Apple store. But the conversation globally is all about who's the number one smartphone maker. For now, the iPhone is up on top. Even in India, their sales are increasing. But Samsung has launched the new S24 lineup. And we wore at Galaxy Unpacked in San Jose. In theory, we saw a bunch of Galaxy AI features and we were quite blown away. But now we have, well, our own units to really test and sample some of these features. So I thought we're here in Amji, Mumbai. And what we've seen in theory could be very different in practice. How useful are these features? Are they gimmicks? Or can they be game changers in the smartphone AI race? Let's actually begin by using the first feature that I've been using for the past week, which happens to be, well, chat assist. So essentially, the generative AI wave is here to stay. Whether you use chat, GPT, Google Bar, whatever you use, Galaxy AI has a solution for you, which is proprietary to Samsung. What is this particular solution? So I'm typing this message out here on SMS. You can do this for the social media post as well. If you're bad with spelling, if you're bad with grammar, if you don't understand tones as well, maybe you want to be a lot more polite. Maybe you want to be more poetic. Maybe you need to be more professional. Maybe you want to sound like Shakespeare. All of those are actually options with chat assist. So I'm going to type over here saying, Hi, what's up? We need to connect about the big idea let me know when you're free and then you see this lovely gen ai sort of feature here you get three options chat translation writing style spelling and grammar first let's fix the spelling and grammar and in a matter of seconds it's checking the text analyzing it and it's already made the corrections all the typos it's fixed the grammar but I want to take it a step further. I want to change the tone of my message because I don't have an assistant doing it for me. So why not use this virtual assistant with generative AI? There you go. You have the original where I've been semi-formal. Then you can make it professional, casual, social, polite. You can really emojify it as well if you want to be like Gen Z. You can also translate to a bunch of other languages. That's really cool. But that's just one AI feature. There's also a bunch of other AI features which can really make your life easier in a real world environment. For that, I need to get up and take a few photos with the S24 camera. Well, this is called Google Click to Search or Circle to Search. You circle anything on Instagram, Netflix, whatever you do by holding this, you can also use the stylus that is provided with the S24 Ultra. And it will automatically go on Google and find it for you. Shopping links, um, you know, Wikipedia links, whatever you want. So that is a very useful feature. And one last feature, which is very Google-esque as well, like the pixels, and that's something we'd want to see with other phones as well, is generative fill. It is an almost professional feature, but for that, I'll need to take a photo. So I'll see you once we've taken that photo. So one of the coolest features, which I think is a lot like the Pixel 8 Pro, but works like a charm in terms of generative fill, is on the Samsung Gallery. Take a photo with a really good camera. I got this really handsome skater over here, and this is the photo that I got. Now, if I go on the edit option in the gallery, and this is something we spoke to Samsung about. It's only going to be for now in their gallery feature. All these cool AI features when it comes to photos, nightography, all of that. And I just want to essentially move him to this side of the frame. I select him, literally move him here. And in a matter of seconds, he's moved to the other side. I've resized him as well. Even the reflections have been managed. And if you're worried about what this means for deep fakes and stuff like that, because this is quite a, well, life structuring, life altering sort of an edit, it will be updated in the metadata. That means all the information about this photo will mention that it was edited by me using the generative edit feature. So these are some of the features on the Galaxy S24 lineup, which is going to come with the foldables and some of the other Galaxy devices as well. But on the S24, these features work like a charm 90% of the time. So I think it's a game changer when it comes to Galaxy AI, but it is work in progress. It will get better in the next iteration, perhaps. But for now, there is nothing in the smartphone world that can compare to what Samsung's doing with the S24 lineup.